My name is uh, Mr. Manuel Njoyama. That is uh, many years ago, but I can still remember something. That was around 4 p.m. I just back to my new place. So I went to call my brothers to my new place. On my way going, I saw people running here, that's getting. Everybody was running towards my direction. When I saw that people were running towards my direction, I turned back to my house. Before I could reach my house, we see either my wife or my children. So they all ran away. My wife took my two kids, Ifoma and uh, the smaller brother, Bright. I was um, three and a half going to fall. So it was on a Sunday evening when we were hearing sounds and um, different buildings were collapsing. I was at home with my mom, my kid brother and my uncle. My dad was not at home that day because he went out. So everybody was running towards our direction because we just moved into our house that day. And uh, my mom back to my junior brother and she held me on her hand. We are running towards the canal. By that time, when you say canal, you know, in different time, the, there was a lot of water high sent over the, the canal. We, you hardly notice there is a water there because there was a lot of grasses, a lot of things. So people thought that that water high sent is ordinary crap. They want to cross to the other side through that, but anyone that cross will fall inside and sink. The mud inside the water will hold the leg, nobody will move. So a lot of crowd, many people we are climbing those that we are on the ground to pass through to the other side. Because crowd was too much. When you say crowd, the crowd is not something you can say like hundred people, it was thousands to open at one particular spot. So people we are Crying, people were shouting. By that time, when I came back, I was still searching for my people. See whether I can see them. I was searching for that, I couldn't see them. Not knowing that something tragedy has already occurred in my family. Because that was the day I just packed into that particular day. So, when I searched through at the whole day, till the evening, that night, I couldn't find them. So the, the following day, I crossed to the other side to search for them. It was when I saw that uh, there was a lot of cops. The, the people have some died, some still inside the water. So I managed to look through all the whole cops from all corners. I couldn't find my the cause of my family there. I found myself at the other part of the My mom called me when I was in the water. I answered. It was the following day, that the second day that they, they now brought my family to me in the winter. When I, they came back, I found out that uh, the boy is no more with them. It's only for my son with the mother. When I asked them, they said that uh, the boy fed inside, all of them fed inside the water. My wife was searching and managed to see Ifoma, and that Ifoma, the one that she saw. The other boy is nowhere to be found inside the canal. When I had the sound of the glass, I didn't thought that it's, a, it's an armory that is stood. I thought that maybe it's one container that fell somewhere because of the sand. I didn't know that it's a bomb because I never had such a sound before. But when the, the explosion continues, I began to see some light that is going up. The people now say that it's a bomb that is exploding, bomb is bomb. I haven't had such a sound. Because when I realized that actually it was bomb, it's 
when every house that is near, if you touch it when it's exploded, it will be shaking. That is when I realized. A large and back at the tip. That was the vice president of that time of uh, Bassan Job Administration. He visited us. Then, led by the governor of Lagos State, Tinumbu, by that time, they all came. So when they came, they came directly to where I'm living, to my house, there, because I was the last person that lived at that place by that time. They came, they visited us. That was when they arrived. Vaca carried my daughter, the former, and he wrote the picture of the small boy that uh, ran in the canal. So they came, Trumbu came also. They spoke a lot of things at that time. It was Fashola administration that promised that they would give 250,000 as an element of which gave other people. Among the it four of us, that is at the second batch, have not received anything. And we going to walk up and down, try to get our own conversation, no way. So I was among the 84 of them that have never got anything either from the federal government or individuals. To enjoy more of this our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.